This one incorporates this thing called a curl, so I'm gonna have a bit of a chat about this curl thing as well when we go on. So let's move over and have a quick look at the left hand. So what we've got first is an open E string, followed by third fret, now we're gonna let that open E string ring out while we play here third finger, third fret of the thinner string. Now you can see that I'm doing a curl. Now just if I separate that out, that's, it's like a little bend, it's not a proper like a, bend it's just and it really adds that kind of bluesy flavor to it you might not want to add it when you first learn it but as soon as you can you should try and practice that Let's go and have a look at the old close-up of the left hand and we'll get started. So we're starting here with the third and the fourth fingers. Right up here the third fingers on the fifth fret, little fingers on the sixth fret. So we're starting here we play the E bass note and then the chord comes but the chord's just going to stay you know for like a half a beat or something so you don't have to hold it down and you can see there that your first finger is doing that whole climb up. And then we're on to the A7 chord, which is the second bar. Third finger, fourth finger up on the eighth fret, then stretch back with your first finger onto the fourth fret. Now that one leads to the first finger is going to slide up again, and we get this funky little E13 chord. It's got a D as the bass note, so you, some of you might not recognize it as an E13 straight away, but it is, and it's a very cool one at that.
Before we start looking at a complete close-up of the right hand, I just want to reiterate the importance of keeping the thumb steady and making sure that you're aware of when notes are played with the thumb and when notes are played in between the beat, because the thumb is always playing on the beat. So make sure you suss out the rhythm of that. We'll go through it with the slow play along as well, but as you, just remember as you're watching that to be aware of what, ones are coming, what notes are coming with the thumb and what notes are coming between the thumb. So here we go. We're starting off the, the uh, left hand would be playing the E9. We start with the bass first, then thumb and second finger, thumb, one, thumb. Then the chords change into the E7, and we're doing thumb and second finger together. First finger, thumb, second finger, bass, first, thumb. 